we are for the next exercise and the next exercise will be the calculated query so it has a calculation in it and that's the power of queries is that we can not only just extract information from the database and filter it through a dynamic diet like a dialogue entry but we can also put formulas in uh, for us to be able to calculate that so I'm just going to open up this uh, exercise 4 and you can see that we're going to be using uh, 2-4 as our database so I'm just going to go over to my databases here I'm going to open this guy by double clicking if I go to master here uh, you notice I don't have an enable um, enable button but if I do I have to enable it now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to look at uh, creating creating new uh, queries um, <clears throat> so uh, a new query one one because we want to do a calculation on let's go back here to the exercise because we want, what we want to do is we want to create um, two queries in effect one is to uh, give me the data which filters the state or state or the customers within a state and that filtering will also show me on, I need to understand has a membership been assigned to that uh, customer and if it has been has been assigned what I want is the latest membership applying to that customer along with a discount so that'll be one query but the second query will actually have to use the first query to actually do the calculations right so the first query will be to list the memberships available for uh, for a, a client so I'll do create here and in the uh, membership side what I want to do is I want to include the client and I want to know the membership that they have and what program that membership actually uh, uh, assigns to and the way I picked that was I actually used the control click so multiple selection so I'll put it in here and you can see that these guys are already in a relationship so to speak so now I'm going to save this query using the name which was given to us in the exercise so if we go back over to the exercise um, they want it to want it to be called client membership okay so I'll copy that over and I'll go back to my main screen here now I'm going to save if I do a save I can paste this client membership so it's got the and remember small steps so let's just do it uh, what do we need as uh, input here so we want to know the client ID obviously we want to know when did the membership start has it been paid okay. and we want to know what is the, um, the category what's the name of it and what is the discount for this for this um, for this uh, uh, the program okay. and do we need the price no, it doesn't say there but all right so now I can save this and run it and you notice on all my clients have been listed with all their memberships and the type of membership and what the discount value the percentage is for it so the first part of the exercise being completed now let's use that query to perform a calculated query so I'm going to go create new query but I'm going to use this membership membership query so I'm going to select here from the add tables so from the add tables we select here and I'm going to put in our latest one so double click it so that gives me the information that I'll need as the master for calculating the discount right? so I'll go back to the table now I need to get information about the clients about the course right uh, about the classes that they actually are in so uh, I, I can use this master to actually use the tables within the uh, database to get the appropriate data um, uh, which matches right so attendance class client and course will actually be the items which I need sub items of so we're going to select those and add them you notice uh, we're all in a relationship so I have relationships between class course and here's the client right okay now uh, the important thing here is uh, actually let's just save the name of this um, of this of this query and I'm fairly certain it was called membership view uh, but let's um, let's just copy it over here 
due payments or client client payments due. I can find it. California. Let's just I'll, I'll just save it as client payment due. Okay. okay. Now, for client payment due, what I need is parameters from those other tables uh, to actually be able to, from these other tables to be able to calculate the overall um, um, what we're going to be charging the customer. Right? So first off, I need to use this client ID, not this one, not in the tables form, but in the query because the query will be the master link to all the rest of the data which is available in the table. So I'm going to use this guy as my master client uh, client ID. Now with um, with the rest of the information, have a look at your um, I think it's section seven in the instructions and it says first name, last name, address, suburb. You put it in. You didn't put it in. There we go. Suburb. I need a postcode. I need, <coughs> sorry, I don't need the postcode, it was code. So I'm going to delete that. Right. Suburb, I'm going to say code. I'm going to say descriptive, descript, description of the course. I'm going to say the cost of the course. And obviously, what we want is this guy. That's why we uh, we actually created the membership was to find the discount for each one of these guys, uh, for each one of the members. And there's the discount. So now I can actually save this, run it, and yes, it's given me a whole list of all my uh, all my clients, and along with their discount codes, right, for the particular courses that they're in. Right. So now we can actually use these two fields to uh, calculate an overall. You know, charge to the customer. Right. So let's do that. Let's go back in here. Now, in the new field across here, if I move across a little bit, can I do that? No, that's too much. In the new field, what I want to do is um, I don't want to pick an item, right, uh, which would be foolish of me. I want to actually put a formula in here. And the way to put a formula in here is to Go to the top here and actually use Bob the Builder. There he is. Right? So, design builder. If I go to builder, now I've got access to all of the parameters which are within the database that I need to uh, to use in my formula, my expression up here. Right? So, I can use these fields because they're available to me in the columns here. But if you don't have these listed, you would have to go into the database, right? So into the database, you'd have to go to the table and actually look for the particular items that you're after, right? But because I've got them listed already, I've included them as parameters in my data set down the bottom here. Um, if I go to, to the top here, I can actually use these values for my formula. And the formula that was given to you was that we look at cost, so if you double click on cost, the cost, I would say minus, and I know it's bracket again, cost minus, <coughs> oh, sorry, cost multiplied by, multiplied by the discount, right? Like minus, multiplied with shift 8 by the discount, and close bracket. Now I'll go OK. So I've created my expression here. Okay, and the expression, if you have a look, the very first part of the expression, the calculation x per one, that's actually the label that is used for the column when I run this. So let's try it before I change anything. So save, run, and you can see across here, there's my new calculated. So that's the actual charge to the customer once we've given a discount of 0.2, um, 20%. Right? So here, X per one, I don't want to see X per one, I want to actually see the heading as charge. Right? So how do I do that? I'll go to design, and I'll change the very last part, and you notice I didn't didn't touch the semicolon, the double dot must stay there, because it, uh, access says any text that is in front of the, front of the double dot, so any text that is onto the left of it, Right, is becomes a header or a label for this particular column. Okay, so make sure that you do not delete the double dot. So let's save, 
we got to run. You notice now my calculated query is that I've actually calculated the charge for each one of my customers. Right? Each one of my customers. Now the last part is to actually see how do I create um, or modify this query so that it only looks for uh, particular clients. Right? And if I go back to my uh, questionnaire in item 15, in item 15, you actually see that what we want to do is we might make this query a dynamic query where we would just put the client ID. We would we would ask the user for the client ID, and that that client would be listed for their due payments. Right? So let's just copy this, and I'll switch over back to my main screen. And in the main one, go back into design. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say for the client ID. So for the ID, put in a criteria of saying please enter the client ID using a using a number. Right? So that's what's going to pop up as my dialog. Let's save. I'll run. And there it is. Right? Enter ID. So in this case, I'm just going to do 12. Yep, 12. And item ID says this is what the, this is what is due from this customer right, for all the courses okay so I hope that helped go through it make make sure you pause and so forth because you really need to know calculated uh, queries definitely especially for your tests so this is an extremely important activity make sure you know how to do it